In developing news this evening, Boeing says it has a fix. Announcing changes the company says will make their Boeing 737 MAX 8 planes safe to fly again. The company has been under fire and planes have been grounded around the world. Now leaders in Washington are grilling the government's transportation officials on how we got here in the first place. Chris Ty is live at Hopkins where these planes used to fly in and out every day. Chris, when's the earliest we may see them back in the sky? Betsy Russ, the very earliest we could see them back in the sky would be the middle of next month, but that is if everything goes flawlessly, and that's only in this country. As you know, this fleet is grounded the world over. And with Cleveland recently losing that Iceland air route, we could be feeling the effects of this Max 8 issue for years. Underwater cannons it landed almost one year ago, the first Iceland air flight into Cleveland Hopkins. Welcome to board. But with the ribbon cutting now long behind us, the airline is cutting, cutting ties with the CLE, which it serviced five times a week at its peak, citing in part those Boeing 737 MAX 8 planes that were used almost exclusively for those routes. We just lost our right engine, needed to clear emergency. The announcement came the same day that a Southwest MAX 8 plane with just two pilots and no passengers aboard were forced to return to the airport because of an engine problem. The plane was flying legally to a maintenance base in California. Importantly, the engine issue is not related to the software issue suspected of bringing down a plane in Indonesia last October and possibly an Ethiopian jetliner two weeks ago. And two new developments today. To reaffirm our commitment to safety and to earning the trust of the flying public. First, Boeing met with 200 airline executives, pilots and regulators on that software fix. That, along with cockpit alerts and additional pilot training, Boeing hopes will get the planes back in the air. Insiders say it could be a couple weeks before the FAA certifies the changes. While in Washington, Congress demanding answers from the Transportation Secretary today about how the MAX was originally certified for flight. The FAA is a fact-based organization. And based on the information that everyone had at that time, March 10th, March 11th, um, March 12th, there was no factual basis upon which to ground the planes. And the software that is getting updated is all anti-stalling software, but Boeing was quick to point out today that there has been no conclusive answer as to what brought down those planes along the Ethiopian side and on the Indonesian airliner. They tell us that investigation is still underway. And Betsy, one other thing, the Iceland Air departure from Cleveland, they're no longer taking off for landing here. They say it had something to do with the Boeing MAX issue, but it was largely a financial issue. So we'll learn more about that in the coming weeks. Back to you. Well, Iceland Air wasn't the only one flying that MAX 8. Certainly other airlines were too. So check ahead because the spiderweb effect is going to be happening. Thanks, Chris. Absolutely. Good advice.